Well, it is meant to and, be professional, yeah. Yeah, and 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 at the end or anyway, I would like to show this book. Yeah. <laughs> It's really inspiring book. One of the most precious gift ever I got. It really is my pleasure. Got it? Two, one. All right, ladies and gents, welcome to another episode of Courage. Today we have a very, very special guest with us, Miss Anjani Singapuri, who happens to be one of my favorite aunts. Um, I always remember her very fondly as someone who's always given me some of the best presents I've ever had in my life and has always pushed me and inspired me and helped me cut class when I didn't want to go to school. <laughs> That's a story for another day. But she is a lovely human being and she's here to share her personal story. So, Anjani, welcome to our show. Thank you, Chirag. Thank you for having me in your show. I'm very well and I'm very excited. First, I would like to tell you about me, who I am. I'm Anjani Narendra Singapuri and I'm Chirak Skaki. Auntie, yes, I was, and I'm Gujarati. I'm proud to be and Gujarati because Gujarati people are very loving. Love to eat <laughs> <laughs> with a nice food. <laughs> yes, and love to enjoy life. That's what called Gujarati. And that's why I'm proud to be in Gujarati. Nice. And I was born and brought up in India. Gujarat. I've studied in Surat in my own mother tongue, Gujarati. That's Anjani Ben Singapore. And so you studied, you didn't grow up learning English. You grew up learning only Gujarati. Yes. I have studied in all subjects in Gujarati. Wow. I, I studied Gujarati, Hindi and Sanskrit. So you three I, languages? Yes, three languages. But I didn't learn English because I didn't know that I'm going to, to go overseas. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that's the beautiful part. I didn't learn English. And I came here in Singapore where I cannot live without English. So that was my great challenge. And what did you... What did you do about it? How did you, because you speak very well. How did you, you think? yes, I think so. How did you Thanks. improve your English or you, did you learn it? Yeah. Thank you very much. Chirat. I would like to share a few things. In 1979, when I came to Singapore, everything was new for me. New people, uh, new environment, new food. But the uh, biggest challenge was language barrier. I could not speak English. I was afraid to go out alone because if I don't understand and don't speak, how am I going to deal with people? That was my biggest problem because I wouldn't say biggest problem, but biggest challenge because I knew at the end of the day, I have to stay in Singapore for the rest of my life because my family is here. My husband is here. So I have to learn. And one day, I just turned on the TV and I saw a Sesame Street program, which is children program. And the big bud, yellow big bud, yes, he was speaking so nicely and other small children was repeating him. And I tried and I enjoyed it. And that's it. From that day, I decided that I want to learn English and I have to learn and I got this platform to learn and started. And you know how Chirag I did? I used to write in a notebook each and every word romanized in Gujarati, how to pronounce it, how to say the sentences. And uh, after that, every time, whenever I have time, free time, I practice. And finally, I practice in front of mirror. Wow. 
whether I can speak or not. And yes, I was satisfied with my things and then I, with my English. And slowly, slowly, I started learning from, I learned at least, I was watching that program at least for two and a half to three years. And it really improved my English. After that, uh, I start Gujarati school. In 1994, I joined Gujarati school as a Gujarati teacher. But as my teacher journey was very wonderful, it is still a wonderful journey. I was a Gujarat, I'm a Gujarati teacher and English student because I learned so many things from my student also. They used to teach correct pronunciation, correct sentences, and how to talk in English. In recess, I used to give them sweet, chocolates, nasto, <laughs> just bribe them and tell them, please teach me. And believe me, Chira, they were so happy. Hey, we are teaching teacher. I said, now you are my teacher. I'm your student. And some student, they used to give me punishment to write. <laughs> Anjani Ben, you write 10 to 15 times because yeah. you are not saying properly. Your pronunciation is not correct. And then again, once, because our Gujarati school is once a week mm -hmm. on Saturday. So they were looking forward to look at my homework and I was looking for their homework. Both sides, we were excited. And then, uh, of course, I used to do that homework. Once I didn't do, then he said, teacher, hmm, I think you have to do 25 times. I said, huh? He said, yes, you give us 50 times, you can, I can give you 25 times. And it's really, Chirag, it's, it was really enjoying journey initially. And then they taught me how to talk, how to sustain conversation mm. with people. He said, teacher, don't be scared. Just talk. We will correct you. And that's how you can learn. And here I am. How much I can speak, what I speak is thanks to Sesame Street program and my student. I, I have a question. There's, yes. a, there's a lot of us who want to learn something new. Mm -hmm. And we know we want to learn. But mm. we might be afraid of um, mm. you know, asking someone for help. Maybe because we don't want to look silly or maybe we're just shy. Did you have this? Yes. Initially, yes. Uh, once it's happened... It's my family member. I said something wrong. If you don't mind, I would like to share with you. Please. Because in every country, it's a different pronunciation. Mm -hmm. in, in Singapore, we say, this word I say, dangerous. It's correct, correct pronunciation. But when I came to Singapore, and I tried initially, because I wanted to learn Chirag. Mm -hmm. And I said, dangerous. Mm -hmm. And somebody caught me. Mm -hmm. And literally scold me if you don't know don't speak mm. but at that time i didn't take it in wrong way i mm. took it as a positive way if someone is correct me i have to learn from my mistakes then only i can learn if i keep on thinking hey this guy or this lady is like always uh, looking my mistake then i cannot learn if we take our mistake in positive way, then we can learn. And that's how I learned. So many people used to correct me in, men, in front of many people. For that time, I feel a little bit uh, down, shy. But I said, never mind. I want to learn Then I have to go through with all these things. And I was ready for it. And I said, thank you. Because who I believe who make who show you your mistakes is your best friend. Hmm. We can learn from our mistakes. Wow, that's um, that's really it's a better answer than I expected. I think, for sometimes for a lot of us, we we let our best friends who could help us stop us from actually helping us. And what you did was really. I think it's a big act of courage to move forward, to take something negative 
and to transform it into something positive and use it to to help yourself instead of to pull you down yes mm -hmm. you if some uh, that's what i believe chira that if someone is saying something that hey you are wrong then we can go and ask them that which way to correct please show me correct way mm. then we can learn otherwise we cannot learn otherwise people we have to choose we want to learn or we want to uh, people can make fun of us mm -hmm. so which way we want to go mm. and i chose yes i chose that i want to learn no matter what so another another part of the question um that i asked because it's a bit of a selfish question right so even for me like when i'm learning something new so there's a lot of struggles in the beginning and then i maybe i keep going i learn i get better then eventually uh, maybe in the midway point right i just feel like giving up because oh i have enough or i think i know enough or this is too hard how do you how did you keep going and keep improving how did you finish what you started uh actually is very good question i i believe chira that in initially i said that uh, life is learning process mm -hmm. every step i would say every step we are learning something new so for me i've never I don't want to believe that I know everything. Yes, it's enough. No, I don't want to learn. No, that's why we cannot move forward. Yes, sometimes we are fed up. We are tired. But if we keep goal in our mind, then we restart again, refresh again, give a break a little bit on that point. After a few days, you restart again, and you see how. then slowly we can move once we stop that we know everything oh ah uh, don't want to do finish tired no don't keep that i can do and i will do but slowly maybe i cannot do too fast because every human being is not same chira our five fingers also not same so we can learn maybe a little bit slowly but we can reach to that point we can reach to that peak where we want to go but one we must have passion don't keep fear because fear is not fatal it's not fatal mm. then don't be scared to make mistake i think mistake we learn from our mistakes that's what i believe and I have one question that I'd love to ask you in terms of when you talk about mistakes. Um if you don't mind me asking, is, is there a mistake that or an experience something that you've that has happened in your life which you have learned from where maybe it wasn't a good thing but you learned from this mistake and you transformed it into something good? Oh uh, yes, Chira, we make many mistakes in life. Mm. whether uh, knowingly or unknowingly but when we we make mistakes we realize it mm. and when we regret mm. we regret from our heart but, but so far i have never made that kind of mistakes mm -hmm. because uh, my parents were very strict mm. they do believe in a uh, discipline in life mm -hmm. when we start about to make mistakes at that time they stop us hey this is wrong you can't do that and i brought up in that environment very strict environment i understand so so far yes but so far i made one mistake when i was in primary 3 in school primary 3 mm -hmm. my mom is a teacher gujra was teacher she was teacher and that, uh, said she uh, retired in 1994 and i joined 1994 in gujarati school but that time she was a teacher in school but she was not in my school so what i did she was expect 
expecting in all four subjects 90 plus marks. Now, in maths, I got 87 marks. And you do you remember those days? Mm. Uh, there was an ink, you put drop water droplets, and you can erase that. <laughs> so I got good marks in Gujarati, Hindi, and other subjects, but in math, I got 87. And I was so scared because my parents, I, as I said, that they were very strict. How can you lose three marks? How can you lose two marks? At that time, I was really scared. And one of my friends told me, hey, Anjini, put one droplet on the number. And she did it. I dare not do, but she did it. <laughs> and that was my mistake. I didn't show my mom my result sleep till one week. And of course, she asked me, where is your result slip? Where is your mark sheet? And I said, maybe somewhere in my daftar, in my school bag. But she suspects something. And I started crying. I said, please, don't beat me. She used to like give me slap, tight slap. I said, please, please. It was my mistake because I was scared. I didn't reach to your expectation in maths. And then she explained to me, you don't make any mistake, this kind of mistake, because this is very serious mistake. So I remember only one mistake, which I didn't do, but I hide it from her. And I didn't tell her that I got only 87. And that mistake I remember. Otherwise, I don't think I, maybe I think I don't make any mistake, but other people maybe can show me, I can ask my hubby. He can tell me, hey, you made this mistake. You made this mistake. Maybe he can show me my mistake. <laughs> maybe. Very nice. Yeah. So just to, to close up our conversation, there's been some really powerful things that you've shared. I'd like to just ask you, um, what does courage mean to you today? Okay, courage means excel the fear. Don't be afraid of failure because failure is not a fatal. Failure is key to success. When you make mistakes, we learn from our mistakes. So don't be afraid of make, making mistakes. That is courage. And what do you suggest people do when they make these mistakes and they are afraid? Cross the fear and victory is waiting for you on the other side with open arm. Do you, and yeah. Do you have a suggestion on how they can do this? Or how would you do this? How, what do you do when you're afraid? Um, I remember one thing, Chirag, when I'm afraid. When I told you that uh, I would like to share that in uh, two things. Okay, I am I'm telling you one my experience, mm -hmm. one or two. Please, if you allow me. Please. Uh, Singapore Gujarati Society gave me opportunity to be a host when Narendra Modi uh, came to Singapore. That time he was a chief minister, and they gave me this opportunity to be a host. Of course, I was hosting in Gujarati, but the meeting, all the meetings I attend, everything was in English. And I had to translate all the points from English to Gujarati. And as I told you that my English was not so good, but at the same time, I should not miss, uh, uh, I should not miss any key point for the hosting. And I was really worried. And I remember my parents' words close your eyes, tell God, please hold my hand and show me right path. Be with me. And I did it. And really, I get from somewhere that energy. And I did it, that program, twice with Mr. Narendra Modi ji. I was host in, in, in uh, that program. I was hosting that pro program. And... Uh, it was 
really unbelievable that I could do it. And my hubby was also very happy. And yes. Two years ago, Mr. Narendra Modi came to Singapore. Could, could you also and explain who Narendra Modi is? Chief Minister. Yes. Yes. Uh, Narendra Modi is currently uh, India's Prime Minister. And you got right? to meet him. Yes. Yes. Wow. Uh, yes. Currently, he is uh, India's Prime Minister. And few years back, he came to Singapore twice. And that time, he was Chief Minister. And Singapore Gujarati Society gave me an opportunity to be a host for that event. And that was really, uh, I need that courage to go on stage and how to be a good host. Because he was a chief minister. And uh, I was a little bit scared because initially I said that uh, my English wasn't good. And all meeting for this event, everything was in English. And I had to translate into Gujarati. Now, same time, I must not miss any key point. Or I must not translate anything wrongly. Because I was hosting Chief Minister's program. At that time, I was really worried, Chirat. I need that courage. How to get that courage? And... I remember my parents' words. Whenever you feel down, you need help. Or whenever you have a fear, please close your eyes and tell God, God, please help me. Hold my hand and show me the path. Be with me. And I did it. And Chirag, I don't know from where I got that energy. And I hosted with my co-host that program and it was really really wonderful program unbelievable it went very well beyond my and my hubby's expectation because i was really scared at home how i'm going to hold this host and how, how i'm going to do this but i did it and second uh, i like to wear saris and people always used to tell me that, Anjani, can you, hey, can you do an exhibition? And then I said, yeah. And Singapore Gujarati Society's Ladies Wing exhibition, I took part. And I have decided to sell uh, Patola Sari. Chira, I was very confident about my sari, color, even the price, design, everything. But my problem, my fear was from the little income, I have to invest very big investment. And I was not looking for profit at that time so much because I kept very low uh, margin for the profit. But again, I remember my parents' word. And I did it. I did it for at least four years. And I achieved what I want. That's what I'm tell telling. It's beyond, if, you, if you have fear, don't keep it fear. You cross the fear. And victory is waiting for you on the other side with open arm. So uh, have that courage and ask God help. And if we have correct plan, execute with the full confidence. If we know that we, can, we are not doing wrong, take God's help and execute your plan and we can do it. That's what I did. I'm not very big lady. I'm very average citizen, very common lady. But I learned from my parents how to uh, come out with the fear and learn from the mistakes. That is big courage. Hmm. And I would like to share something a little bit, if you allow me, Chira. Mm -hmm. I'm still teaching in Gujarati school for more than 25 years. Okay? And I'm hosting my school programs 
and I you uh, I hosted for Singapore Gujarati School uh, with Singapore Gujarati Society's Navratri's event and other events for ten years, and I really enjoyed. But each and every program, I had little bit fear in my heart, but I still re I remember that cross the fear, and victory is on other side. And your kaka helped me. And without your kaka's support, it wouldn't happen anything like this. Kaka is kaka, you and my family. That I all want to slay. I mean, and this is inspiring me. Mm -hmm. he always tell me every day that Anjani, you can do it. Believe in you and you can do it. And you can see that million dollar smile on Chirag's face. <laughs> <laughs> because you're always telling me the kaki you can do it mm -hmm. and here i am i'm reading but very slowly mm. but i understand what i don't understand i underline i uh, underline i uh, google the meaning in gujarati mm -hmm. english and try to understand but it's really interesting book mm. okay Thank i'd love to so my really pleasure that's the best gift ever i got one yeah. of the best gift what, what gift. made this gift so special for you okay Again, my uh, I was going a little bit down for mm. some reason because maybe of COVID or maybe I can't go India or maybe I can't go anywhere. I love to travel. I mean, I love to be next to the nature and I cannot go anywhere. So I'm feeling a little bit down. When I feel a little bit down, I take this book and read one or two pages from it. And that, again, that is recharge me is recharge my battery mm. okay. believe in you you can do it and yes little bit here and there here and there is giving me courage my pleasure yeah. i'd love to ask you a few and, more questions about that yeah and thank you for having me on your show my pleasure i don't know yeah i don't know what makes you to choose me as your guest today. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very excited, actually. I've never given this kind of interview. In fact, I have taken interview, people's interview, in our Gujarati language. Mm -hmm. but not in English, but Gujarati, yes. But I've never given interview. And this is, uh, believe me, amazing experience. I'm so excited since last night. And Kaka is also, oh, I said, and he is also very happy. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we close? Mm -hmm. I'm very, very grateful to Singapore Gujarati School and Singapore Gujarati Society to giving me such opportunities. I'm really, really grateful. My gra gratitude to my parents, mm -hmm. my husband, mm -hmm. my family, my brother, Chirag and Stephanie. Uh, and my in-laws too. Mm -hmm. This wouldn't have been possible without my husband's support. Mm -hmm. He always support me. Mm -hmm. And yes, and now you are supporting me also. So thank you very much for having me in your show. My pleasure. My thank pleasure. You. And what made me to come on your show. I read all your posts on uh, WhatsApp and all your posts are very interesting and inspiring. I'm reading regularly and uh, I feel this is the platform. Your show is a platform for me to share my views, share my experience. That's why I like to come to your show. And I really enjoy. I hope same way you also enjoy. Very talking much. To me. Very, very much. <laughs> it was lovely getting to know uh, a different part of you and also learning a little bit about, you know, the challenges you went through and, and how you overcame them, right? I think um, that's the most important thing. What most of us want to know is, we know victory is on the other side. We understand what we have to do. We know that we have to, you know, be positive, but 
yet a lot of us struggle with it. We know what we have to do, but we can't seem to. And your practical advice is, is I think what really helps, right? Sometimes asking for help from our friends or even from our students, from our younger people, like yes. not letting um, <clears throat> negative information and negative people pull us down, but rather using them as a platform to step up. I think what you've done and how you've transformed the energy that you received is it's really beautiful. And this is what yeah, I, I would, is gift. Yes, I would love to tell an audience yeah. that stay away from negative negativity. Mm -hmm. Stay away from negativity and be prepared from learning from anyone at any age, anything mm -hmm. that we can achieve. Small child also can teach us. Yeah, elder people also can teach us. And older people also can teach us. So life, again, I'm saying life is a learning process. We be ready to learn any day, everything from anything. Mm -hmm. And from anyone at any age. There is no age barrier to learn anything. I think that's a that's, perfect way to yes. end. Wow, that is amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank very, you. very, Thank very much, Anjani. And maybe one day we can have a part two to discuss more things. I'm sure there's a lot of other things that we can yes. add in the conversation. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much, Chirak, for having me in your show. Uh, if I have uh, make any mistakes or anything, so just, yeah. You did and wonderful. I, re I, I really am looking forward for second part. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I know. Yeah, not too soon, but anytime. <laughs> <when> you... <laughs> of course. I have, yes, I have many things to share, but uh, yes, uh, about your childhood, if you will allow me. Oh, well, okay, that's another... <laughs> <laughs> another, another story for another day. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much, Anjani. I'm just kidding. No, what is my. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. So when can I see my. Thank you Where very, very see? much. Yeah. And you will be able to see the video as soon as we have it ready. So thank you, thank you very much, ladies and gents, for watching this. If you want to know more about Angie Singapore, you can check out the links below and you will get all the information over there. So stay tuned and look forward to our next episode. Thank you very much for watching.